In the last tutorial we saw this new ADC object, which brings in sounds from the microphone and we attached it to this tab right object that's sent it to an array one so we can see the kind of sound waves that are coming in here. In this tutorial I'm going to introduce you to the threshold object. So the threshold object is an object that we're going to attach here to the output of the ADC object. And remember that our ADC object as well is uh, getting multiplied by 10 just to boost it a little bit. So we can just send it in straight in here. Now the threshold object, it actually takes four different initial arguments. First one is the actual uh, trigger amount, the trigger threshold. So the amount of sound that we have to get through the thre threshold object to make it bang, which is the whole point of the threshold object. Uh, then we've got a debounce time. That's the amount of time that is a space or a buffer after it bangs for the first time to uh, gather itself again so that it can bang again if there's still a loud noise. Then we've got a uh, rest threshold. So once it drops down below this threshold, we can see that it's uh, going to go into rest, and we've got a rest debounce time. So the main effect of this threshold object is that we can get a bang coming out from this threshold object when a certain noise reaches a particular level. So we can see there we got a slight bang there. Uh, if we can whistle, There we go. So I, these uh, different trigger rest times and debounce rest times are having an effect there. But essentially what it means that if we just get a loud bang all of a sudden, it will certainly bang through that outlet of threshold. And uh, depending on what type of different lag times or buffer times we have after that, it will take a rest and won't bang again uh, until that lag time is, is finished. So we can 